These are not so common. Early 2000s Henry for you. It's a 2001 Mr. Henry. Um, I've just banged a UDS floor tool on these tools because they were quite accessible, but I've got some of the stars that this would have come with, but they're in storage at the minute. So anyways, here it is. It's in not terrible shape, but it's not amazing. It is quite clean though. It's a 2001. It's, you might have seen this on eBay a while ago because there's not really many of these ever pop up. It's, it was sold as spares or repairs for, well, it was sold as does work, but it's noisy. So surprise, surprise, the motor was absolutely arcing. It was terrible. Took it out, um, commutated the stick straight on the comb, wound it round, put brand new brushes in, run lovely for about five minutes, started burning out again. Surprise, surprise, couldn't be bothered to faff about with it anymore. Banged a 620 watt motor in it. But uh, Henry 160 motor, put the motor sail in like off the 160 motor inside of the UDS sail, so it doesn't rock around in the lid. And now it works, but it's not the UDS Henry anymore technically. But you know, early 2000s Henry. Um, I've never cleaned it up. To be fair, it was quite clean when I got it. Under there, as you can see, a little bit of dust. Save me of getting the 620 motor, uh, 620 watt motor in there. Please excuse me, dog. Crying in the background, being very quiet till I start filming because he can hear me talking. Um, all in here, quite clean. But, oh, yeah, I'll show you the rating sticker. But yeah, it, it was quite clean and good. Nick inside was immaculate. It's got original Volex plug on and everything. It seems like the, the flex is basically brand new, so I'm not like show how it's got a Volex plug on, but here we are. Um, yeah, just one of these interesting machines. I've got quite a few to video at the minute, um, ones you have never seen, but I thought I'd start with this one as this one's quite a, an uncommon sight. I don't think I've ever seen a Mr. Henry, apart from the one that, is it Pneumatic 10 has one of these? And I think there's one on eBay about 12 year ago or something. I've never seen one since, so yeah. That one's that one. Ooh, I could do with a bit of a clean on the base there, didn't notice. Probably off when I had carbon covered hands and I was fixing it. But yeah, I fixed it and then we never used it really. We just went into storage after that, but yeah. Can you actually let us know how rare are these to be fair? Because I jumped at the thing of it. You might have seen it when it was on eBay, when it was listed as working but noisy. It was, um, I think it was 30 quid or something. So I thought, well, I kind of passed that up for a thing for a thing for an um, uncommon pneumatic and yeah i've got some other machines to video today as well but that was just a quick one on this one just to try and update you on some of the machines i have that you have not seen yet but yeah thanks for watching